Hey, what's up, you guys? <clears throat> Excuse me. Bringing another action figure review to you. And this is the Marvel Legends Aunt May. Now, this is the Aunt May from the Spider Man animated series with the Doc Ock 2 pack. Obviously, I did not get the Doc Ock because, I mean, it is an awesome figure. I do love Spider Man animated series. I do. But I already have a Doc Ock in my collection and I did not want another Doc Ock. Well, actually, I have, technically I have two Doc Ocks in my collection. Um, one from the comic books and one from the movie. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, anywho, this is Aunt May, and I needed an Aunt May in my Spider-Man collection. Aunt May is a very integral part of Peter Parker. Uh, she's very important to him. And, um, yeah. Yeah. She is an important character. Um, I know a lot of people really don't, probably don't, don't give a shit. <laughs> They're like, I'm just gonna collect Spider Man and his his villains, and that's it. I don't need these side civilian characters. I disagree. I think Spider Man's side characters are just as important as he is. Aunt May, Uncle Ben, uh, uh, Harry Osborn, Liz Allen. Um, Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, Captain Stacy, um, I mean, the list goes on, uh, Betty Brant, J. Jonah Jameson, um, you know, Spider-Man side characters are, are very integral, they are just as important as he is, um, dare I say, um, I think they are, <clears throat> and, um, I have wanted an Aunt May in my collection for a long time. Um, for story purposes and, you know, for, you know, the way I display my figures sometimes. Um, I, yeah, this is something I always wanted. I always wanted Aunt May. So they chose Aunt May from the animated series, which is really cool. I really like that. And um, we're going to take a close look at her in just a sec. All right, so we're going to take a close look at Aunt May. And she looks really good. She looks really good. <laughs> they kind of have like this very sick worried look on her face i guess she's always worrying about peter even though she doesn't know that he's spider-man but she's very old and she's very protective of him he means a lot to her um and um i actually don't mind the face go i actually don't mind it um they actually could have screwed this up very badly and i could have hated it but the way it comes through <clears throat> the way it shows through with this concerned where you look on her face, it actually works. It blends in very well. They could have definitely screwed that up. So I give them Bernie points for that. I also like the sculpting of her hair. It's really nice. If they would have put a wash in it, it would have went a long way. But for the sculpt that they did do with her and the color of her hair, very accurate to the animated series. Her face looks very accurate to the animated series as well. But it also looks like a comic book version of Aunt May. And that's really cool. You can also see the wrinkles in her face. That's very nice because, you know, she is an older lady. And um, you can see a little bit of veins in her neck. So you see her nice little suit dress that she has going on here. It's very nice. It's, it's a little plain. They could have went the extra mile, but it's still nice. It's very accurate to the, to the animated series. A um, little bit of wrinkles there throughout the arms, the jacket. Um, she doesn't really have any wrinkles in her hands. Not that I can see, anyway. But that's all right. That's fine. She doesn't have any painted fingernails. That would have been nice as well, but that that's that's fine. She has her nice long skirt. That's very nice. The little split in the back. That's nice. And, you know, you have her little legs there. It's nice. Got the pickles at the bottom. She does have heels on. And she could stand in these heels. I appreciate that very much. Marvel Legends, y'all get brownie points for that. For the female figures that wear heels and can actually stand without much fuss, it's very nice. But her shoes are very nice. Her shoes are very nice. So this is a very nice figure. So she's going to get basic articulation because, you know, she's a female figure. But her head has a, a lot of wobblage. It has a lot of attitude. She can, you know, look around, things like that. You know, she has quite a bit of attitude. She's going back up by that much. She's going down quite a bit. Her arms can go out about that much. She has 
full rotation. She has a swivel in the elbow. She has a wrist and hinge rotation. And uh, nothing in the waist really. Well, she can twist all the way around in the waist, but no pivoting, no bolt peg, or nothing in there. She has a skirt, so she can't split, but God, about that much, she can't kick forward because of the skirt, she can't kick back either. Aunt May doesn't need to do anything dynamic, okay? She's Aunt May. <laughs> if you have Aunt May in your display and she's not just standing there, then something's wrong with you. She can hinge down, feet can hinge up, and she doesn't have any angle pivot, no? Huh? If she does, mine is tight. I don't feel any, maybe a slight pivot, um, and, and that's about it. Basic articulation for Miss Aunt May. And that is fine. That is very, very fine. Because like I said, she's Aunt May. So, I mean, what the heck are you going to do? All right, so let's get into some quick size comparisons. So we got some female power here. We got um, Aunt May with Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy. That looks very nice. We also have Aunt May next to Maura McTaggart and the black cat. That looks pretty good. And here we have Aunt May next to J. Jonah Jameson, J. Jonah Big Mouth. <laughs> here we have Aunt May uh, with Doc Ock behind her and these two are intrinsic to just run into each other. Happened in the comic books. Well, she almost married him in the comic books. Damn. Um, it, had, it happened in the animated series, and it happened in the movies. So, for some reason, her and Doc Ock just <laughs> meant to interact with each other. And last, but certainly not least, we have Aunt May with her loving nephew, Peter. And this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Loving Aunt May with... Her baby boy, Peter. She raised him. She taught him. Her and Uncle Ben. That's why Peter is who he is. That's why he is who he became. The Amazing Spider-Man. Because of all the love and attentiveness from Aunt May and, and Uncle Ben. Um, but even after Uncle Ben died, it was Aunt May that picked up the slack <clears throat> and continued to raise him. So... This is just wonderful to have Peter and Aunt May in extra vigor form. I think, in my opinion, I think that that is beautiful. All right, I try to make them hug as best as possible. It's a weird, awkward hug I got them in, but I'm gonna cap it off here. I'm ended here. Um, this has been my review of Marvel Legends Aunt May, and I will give Aunt May a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a very nice figure to have if you if you care about her character at all and what she means to spider-man um she wasn't easy to get actually you would think a figure like this would probably run on ebay for like about 10 to 15 bucks nope people are selling her for like 25 and up so she you know i guess <laughs> maybe aunt may is in more demand than i thought because she she wasn't easy for me to get, but I got her. I had to get her. It was a must. And, um, and I'm very happy that I got her. So this has been my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.